Hey guys, in this video, we are going to be showing you how to create your very own faux rhinestone designs in Cricut Design Space. This can be a bit of a time consuming process, but it's so much fun. Let's start out with getting our text. We are going to be making a design with a solid word for a mascot and making an outward burst of faux rhinestones. We are going to be using the font called Chicago Athletic, which will be linked in the description of this video. And after you have your text and your font, we are going to increase the size. I like to keep it around six to seven inches in width so that once the rhinestones are added, it will be about the size I want it in the end without making the stones too small. Now let's come down to combine and select weld. Okay, let's add a circle to our canvas and we are going to adjust the size down to 0.177 inches. This is a pretty good size for the larger rhinestones so it will cut well and still reflect the light and the smaller ones we will end up doing here in a little bit. Now we are going to add an offset to our text. This will be used as a guide to place all of our circles and you can make this offset as big as you want it, but I really just want to make sure that inside pieces are closed. So that should give you pretty good spacing. We will just make lots of circles and follow along the offset. So let's go ahead and duplicate our circles and get a good amount going so that we can go all the way around. Just right click and hit duplicate. And instead of constantly duplicating them individually you can start grouping them together and duplicating them that way it will make this go a lot quicker and now we are just going to take all of these circles and follow along the lines of the offset you want the circles to be kind of close together because we want it to be more of an outward burst effect away from the text. So the closer to the text, you want the circles to be closer together and the farther out we go, we will be adding more space. Now that we are pretty happy with this, let's hide our offset and see what it looks like. I'm really happy with how this is looking. So let's go ahead and move our text and go ahead and group this first set of offsetted circles. Now we can come up here and align everything together so it's all centralized. We need to keep going with our outward burst, so we are going to add another offset. But instead of offsetting the text itself again, we are going to put an offset on our original offset. So grab the offset layer and let's add another one. I think this size will be a little too close for the circles, so I'm going to expand this one a little bit more. And I think this looks pretty good, so we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to follow the new offset with all of our circles. You will want these to be spaced out a little bit more because again, we want that outward burst effect, and so we will need to add more space as we go outward. Thank you. 
Okay, now that these are looking pretty good, we are going to be doing this process yet again by adding another offset to the previous one. I like to start doing smaller circles by the third line. So let's delete all of these extra circles and decrease our circles to 0 0.130. And then let's get a lot of these duplicated. All of these next steps will be exactly the same. Let's add another offset to the previous one and follow along the lines. We are looking pretty good, so we're just going to continue this process until we really like how it's looking. I personally like to put about five offset layers. The two closest to the text are the larger circles and the outward three with smaller circles. I think this gives the perfect effect. The thing I love most about this is that it's completely personal, so however you like to piece it together and whatever looks good to you is going to look fantastic. Once you are satisfied with how this is going to look, we are going to hide or delete all of our offsets. Move the text out of the way and group all of the circles together. I did forget to record this part, but make sure you also go in and weld them together so that when you send them to be cut, they stay in shape and don't just line up together to be cut individually. Now you can change the colors to whatever you like to make sure you don't get confused on which material you are going to be cutting in which part of your design. And you have your very own faux rhinestone file with this outward burst effect. <laughs> 